So we did discuss about different promptings and we started with zero shot prompting and we have seen an example. So the idea is like instead of giving something random, you give something meaningful and LLM will help you like to, to ease, ease with something like that. Now let's go to the second aspect of it, which is like few shot prompting, right? And the few shot prompting, the basic idea is includes a few examples in the prompt to guide the model's response. Now you don't even have to do like few of the examples. You can get away with like one example and it is done. Um, provide two to three sample sentences before asking for a similar output. Now what we have to do here is like guide the LLM um, to give it a perspective on how you want an output. So if you see, one of the bad examples here is like, here are some network issues, latency issue and a packet drop. Now solve this problem, server A disconnects from server. This is like very vague, like this is not the way you um, generally communicate to another engineer as well, to, to, be, to be very honest with you. We do see like these sort of um, people in, in an extremely different uh, and difficult situations when handling like um, a service outage or a task calls or anything. So what's a good example look like? So a good example here is like analyze the network issue based on the following example. So you have high latency detected between X and Y, ping time exceeds 300 MS. The output is like possible cost network congestion recommended solution is like check for bandwidth intensive application. This makes like more sense. An example two is like packet drops observed on a switch A, error rate exceeds threshold, possible cost faulty hardware or issues recommend. Now you give the third sentence where you'll say, this is the actual question. Frequent disconnections between server and server B during peak hours. Now what it does is like it tries to like give you an output which is like similar to what the output that you have already given instead of like uh, giving its own version of the output which LLM uh, generally and usually does, right? That is what it is. So let's go to Google Gemini uh, here. So let's try to build So there is something called a gem manager. I, I've built something, but let me try to delete it. So let's build a gem. It's nothing but an agent, right? It's, and here, first we'll say trace root analyzer. This will analyze Facebook. something so there's no knowledge reference or anything and let's save say start chat now I have a pre-recorded trace route I wantedly made like one of the two of the hops so I'm tracing to like um, Cloudflare for all ones and at hop three and hop five, I've just inc incremented the latency. It's nothing fancy here, right? So I'll just give that output. No instructions are given yet. It's just like I've told it, like analyze, analyze for trace root. Now this can uh, give an output, which is reasonable enough, but it is not something that we want. Like we don't, we want something which is like consistent, which fits um, our learning methodology, our troubleshooting methodology and everything, right? This is what we usually do. Like if you see, um, it's doing some sort of hop by hop analysis, which is very nice. Um, it, it's driving some conclusions and nothing, nothing wrong with this. This is exactly what we do. Now what we'll do here is like, let's go to the trace root analyzer. Um, gem manager. So ouch. let's go to this. Now in the instructions, what I'll do is like, I'll make it more specific. So here I'm saying, create a properly formatted table with the following columns. So hop number, IP address, latency and status, right? If you need, you can also include additional details like total hop count, average latency, any abnormal spikes, any spike, we have to define everything, right? So anything greater than 100, 
will consider it as abnormal and note any timeouts and third point is like provide exactly one line summary under the heading observation that captures the most significant finding from this trace route um, for example normal routing path with expected latency or significant latency at so and so hop format the response professionally with clear spacing and alignment okay this is nice so you just paste it there so there is something called use gemini to rewrite the instructions this is some sort of prompt that we'll explore later but for now we are we are here so we'll update the gem so that is saved uh, we've started a new chat now what i'll do i'll paste the same thing that i've pasted before let's see what gemini will come back to us it's trying to do some sort of analysis uh the the only way that um probably for now uh, the agent or the gem is not reachable or there is no method to go by an api um in the future lessons i'll show you like how do you construct something where you can make it an api driven um, programming experience because like you probably may not be on the chat you may not you may want like a programmatic access you just send the output and you had just need to have a reply on a command line or probably on a slack or wherever it is now coming back if you see this is exactly what i wanted right so hop number ip address latency and status it gives some some sort of metrics to it and then like it is giving me um, so and so one cool thing since it's in the google ecosystem you can explore to the sheets and stuff um if you see like additional analysis this is exactly what we have to do right so uh, include additional analysis total hop count latency abnormal latency like spikes any time out or failed hop so it says like my total hop count average latency abnormal latency spikes obviously we had two of them so one at 5 and one at 3 this is something that i waited myself so here it says like there is something um in hop 2 and hop 4 that it has seen um remember like trace you have to think one hop before um and finally we wanted a one line observation so significant latency increase uh, uh, increases occur at hop 3 and the final hop indicating potential network congestion or routing issues at those points this is exactly what we want uh um, this is the power of llm right like this is exactly um why you need to format um and give um, a clear instruction and this is going to uh, be a constant for uh, every time so if i say um trace route to something right so we didn't tell anything about the stars so let's see like since we didn't instruct about the stars it will have its own version so then we have to say like okay uh, don't think that you you are hitting something on the stars and everything so if you see um for the 8888 again like look at the consistency of the output that we are saying so it's we have the hop number we have the ip address um the latency and the status for the hop 2 it says timeout and the result is timeout um and um in the observation the route to 888 is very fast with low latency despite intermediate hops 2 and 4 are not responding <laughs> well, all it is managed by like google and obviously like uh, the gemini is trying to like do do it uh, for its own sake uh, we actually tried to do the trace route from amazon so um, i think uh, that's that's fair enough um now let's try to do something trace route uh we'll say 100 some some ip i don't even know that ip to be to be honest so this has like good number of hops right like if you see um now let's copy this and let's see if we'll have the same consistency hop so obviously it's taken there when i was involved in like looking into the screen um 
All right. So 18 to 30 it did say it is. It has lost and um, obviously um, okay did we have yeah we have the names okay so it gave like where is it is successful partial timeout and everything uh, additional analysis abnormal latency so greater than 100 we have seen um, at hop 10 and hop 11 I think that's crossing the border I think like, like the continent or something so here it's in Paris and I think from here to here I think it just crossed from like the ISPs and from there it went into like the complete internet and stuff um, so the total hop count that it tried is 30 so trace stopped after maximum hops reached which is very nice analysis um, average latency is 56 abnormal latency spikes timeouts um, it did see some timeouts. The trace route um, shows a major latency at hop 11 when entering AS6453 towards India. Wow. <laughs> uh, followed by consistent timeouts from hop 18 failing to reach the non -public publicly routable destination to 1011. That's like, I don't know if it's the correct AS or not, but if someone gave me that insight when we are like, trying to troubleshoot it, that's, that's, that's an awesome thing to do. So, anyways. Now, um, we've seen like the few short ones, that's very efficient and we are getting a consistent table output, right? Um, anyways, for the next one, what we're going to do is like do something called chain of thought. It's going to be uh, a very powerful one. Uh, we'll see like, um, how do you instruct something to go through something called a chain of thought? Uh, what are the advantages with it and how can you solve some of the networking problems with it. Uh,